Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Today was an interesting day. I keep looking at the forecast and it keeps saying different stuff. It's gonna snow, it's not gonna snow, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be warm, it's gonna be windy, on and on and on and on. It's awful out for here. I always have to sort of give that little aside there. For here, it is in the 30s and it has been snowing all day. The ground isn't cold enough, I guess, or there isn't, there isn't a, enough snow falling quickly enough to accumulate like it did last week, but it's, it's just been snowing all day. Enough to let you know, like, hey, <laughs> it's snowing. Again, I still remember when we moved here, like at a first year or two, right like at the beginning of February, we were sitting at an outdoor area at a Starbucks, trying to pull our sleeves up because it was so hot. I wish it was like that now, but it's not. So I decided I would take the ZV-1 and go outside and just film whilst I was going to get the mail, walking around the neighborhood, whatever, because it was snowing pretty hard. And I thought, eh, okay, that, that's kind of picturesque, right? Problem is, is that as soon as I walked outside and these are big fat snowflakes. So a big fat snowflake hit right in the center of the friggin' lens and, and then melted and basically covered the entire screen in, in that melty wetness. So I couldn't, giggity, I just couldn't use that footage. And, and I had walked around the whole time and then I spent like 20 minutes trying to clean the lens because it had gotten that big dollop of, of snowflake, which then melted. And then when I tried to wipe it, I smeared the lens and you know, then the lint sucked onto it because I can't seem to ever go two seconds without getting lint all over my lenses and filters in the front and the back, regardless if it's hermetically sealed or not. So I sat there and I just used the blower and just tried to blow all the moisture off of it and then try to blow all the dust off of it. No matter how much I spend on microfiber cloths or lens cleaning cloths or Zeiss wet wipes and all that kind of stuff, I can never get my freaking lenses to be perfectly clean and perfectly clear of, of dust, dirt, lint, whatever. Wham, woe is me. And I still would love to spend a day with some of these creators that I watch that don't use filters, that, that don't put lens caps on, that throw them into their freaking backpacks or their pockets, then put them on the camera and there's never any dust on the, on the footage. Nothing gets in the sensor, nothing, you know. It's voodoo magic. It just has to be voodoo magic. They're sacrificing babies somewhere to be able to do that. Okay, I also had planned on filming a bunch of stuff and going through my editing, but, and here are the perils of having a smart home. Sometimes shit doesn't work smartly and I couldn't get the lights to come on in the studio or the office consistently. And it would say that the lights were on, but one lamp in the corner's on and nothing else is. And then I tried to change the colors of the lights and they showed that they were the different color, but they weren't on. So it took me, it took me over a half an hour to get that situated. I literally had to go down and unplug the hub and I plugged it back in and it connected to the lights downstairs and outside, but not up here. Then I unplugged it again and left it off and walked around the house and restarted my phone and I did all kinds of stuff until eventually I got it to turn back on, to connect, to change colors and actually work. But I don't have enough time to film now because my wife's gonna be home in like 10 minutes. You know, we're gonna have to do dinner and all that kind of stuff. I got, I got my gloves today, I got my fingerless gloves, wasn't expecting what I got because the ones that I had were, I guess they were for runners. They were just liners, they were really thin. And I'd cut the fingers off and they've been unraveling ever since. So I got proper fingerless gloves. They're so thick that I, I almost can't use them for anything because uh, you know, like I can't even close my fingers all the way. So it's feel, it just, it feels really weird. I'm gonna have to figure something else out. I mean, when it's cold like this out, th it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be doing any any delicate soldering on, on circuits or anything, but you know, at least it'll keep my hands warm. And the and the little rubber nubs on them are, are actually much better than those other crappy gloves that I had. So holding on to any of the tripods or the cameras or anything, I'm not worried about it but they are too thick for me to use on, on a, like a, a daily basis of, I just need something over my hands so that I can manipulate stuff. So I'm gonna have to come up with something else for that. Likely what I'm gonna have to do is get like biking gloves or, or the like that are just leather that have some padding on it and the fingers are cut off. I know I need to get something like that for when I'm, when I'm gonna be out skating. And since I have a pair that I, that I use when I go biking, I'll probably just use those and, and they, they will suffice. Or they won't and you'll just hear me bitch and moan about it. Okay, this is a pretty much a nothing video. I, again, can't use any of the footage 
from the ZV-1 because of the snow getting on the lens and ruining everything, and I don't have time to do a proper screenshot video of editing in multicam. I just don't have time for it. I have too much to do for my day job as well. So this is sort of a frenetic, quick, sorry, I don't have anything to post. So I just shot this stupid video to post something. I'll try to do something better. Tomorrow I've got meetings. You're gonna get slim pickings then too, unless I come up with a better idea. Or unless you send me an idea of something that you want me to shoot. I pretty much am done trying to sell the ZV-1 after, after you know a few days of making that decision. At this point, like I said, I already paid for it. I own it. I've got everything for it. I'm just gonna keep it. I did order a, a, a an arm clamp thingy, almost like my iPad clamp for the bed, but without having a big clamp to hold an iPad. And it basically just has a quarter 20 so that I can use it to mount and do overhead shots. Because where I'm sitting right here, again, I have this desk, this little uh, almost like TV tray type tiny desk that I have my iPad sitting on and, and all the other stuff that I'm gonna show you. But there are times where I could be doing an unboxing, you know how much I love doing that, and whatever else I might be doing, that it would be good to have something that points down. And while both of these tripods do that, obviously I'm going to have cameras mounted on the tripods and I'm not taking this shit apart to do that. I don't even think it was 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks for a clamp. And I can literally either clamp it onto this desk or I can clamp it over on a piece of furniture here and get it to come over and, and be perfectly fine. So I, I have wanted to do some top down stuff before. I just didn't have the proper stuff for it or the motivation to make it work. At this point, I'll get that soon. So in addition to getting that arm clampy overhead thingy, I also got another one of these so that I can twist it on there and I'm not dicking around with quarter 20s and holes and all that kind of stuff. Since I'm keeping the ZV-1, at this point I've stripped it down to the ZV-1 with the small red cage around it and of course the Peak Design standard plate. I took off the wide angle lens, no handles, no nothing, no external mic, it's just the camera with the internal mics running and the dead cat on it, and that's it. It's a welcome relief to have something so small, and I think I'm just gonna keep it that way and use it for what it's intended for. So I've kind of gone all over the place again, and I'm just rambling on at this point. I just wanted to touch bases with you and let you know why you're getting a shitty video today. Sorry, can't always hit a winner. Thanks for joining me, as always. Like, subscribe, and all that shit, and remember kids, forward and up.